हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल सी द टॉपिक ऑफ नैनो केमिस्ट्री यू माइट हैव हर्ड दिस टॉपिक ऑफ नैनो केमिस्ट्री दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक नाउ वर्ड इज बिकॉज द नैनो मटेरियल्स दे आर यूज ऑन अ लार्ज स्केल सो वी विल सी और वी विल गेट आइडिया अबाउट द नैनो मटेरियल्स एंड नैनो केमिस्ट्री नैनो टेक्नोलॉजी इज अ टर्म विच इज नथिंग बट द साइंस ऑफ नैनो मटेरियल and though we don't have we didn't have idea about this particularly this word that nanotechnology but we are using nano materials from a very long time from very ancient time we can say like the uh, swarna bhasma it is used uh, in the ayurveda from a long ago which is uh, nothing but the gold nano material nano particles while silver halide nano particles are used in photography from a very uh, long time so these are the nano particles which are used now we will uh, see what is first of all nano material nano material so the material which is used in the length scale of 1 to 100 nanometer means in between the length scale of 1 to 100 nanometer it's called as a nano material now 1 nanometer is nothing but 1 billionth of meter that is 1 10 raised to minus 9 meter this is a very uh, small or we can say the size or the uh, scale of nano material if um, for an example the carbon carbon bond length it is up to 1.25 to 1 point uh, sorry 1.12 to 1.25 nanometers while the di diameter of double helix of dna it is up to about 2 nanometers so uh, we can imagine that how small this nanometer unit is now the study of this uh, nano material in between 1 to 100 nanometers uh, is called as a nano material particularly or the size of the material which is in between this is a nano material and the study of this particular material which is in between 1 to 100 nanometers is called as a nano chemistry now this nano in this nano chemistry the nano material when it is there it is just investigation and its design of the particular nano material so investigation and its design or we can say that synthesis and design of nano material it's called as a, again the in another words the nano chemistry now we will see how this nano materials are nano materials these are of uh, three mainly types that is the uh, one dimensional nano material two dimensional nano material and three dimensional nano material all these types of nano materials are used in a very large scale but particularly when we have to study these nano materials these are based on the different properties so there are mainly two properties which are to be studied number 1 large surface area and number 2 quantum effect in large number 1 if large surface area how can we say that a large surface area it is having large surface area it is because due to its small size it can be spread in this more surface area it will require more surface area due to very small size of its particles other than when we compare it with the uh, normal particles they are as they are having the more size they will require a small surface area because of their compactness but due to the small size if they will away remain away from each other so they will require the more surface area so this is one of the important property by which it is used on such a large scale and it is showing the different type of applications So, so like that another is a quantum effect now quantum effect is nothing but the effect of nano materials in terms of particularly the optical effect the electrical properties and the magnetic properties so all these three types of properties are more superior comparatively than the normal materials and this is called as a particularly quantum effect so due to this important two properties on a very large scale nano material is used now we will see one by one types of nano material as we know that there are three types of nano material 
that is one dimensional nano material two dimensional nano material and three dimensional nano material in one dimensional nano material we will see that what it is so those nano material having only one dimension in nano scale means it is having only one dimension in the scale of 1 to 100 nanometer while or this single dimension which is in nano scale can extend into other two dimensions like this so it can extend a lot into the other two dimensions for example computer chips then um, surface coatings thin films they are having two dimensions that can be seen by naked eye but a single dimension is there which is in the nano scale so that is called as a one dimensional nano material which is having only one dimension in nano scale and it is extended in other two dimensions so like that and another example is another uh, type is two dimensional two dimensional nano material in this case of two dimensional nano material two dimensions of the material are in nano scale while this both two dimensions are extended in other one dimension only for example if these are the two dimensions and they are extended into the only one dimensions like the nanotubes nano wires these are the examples of two dimensional nano material then third is a three dimensional nano material in the uh, third type of three dimensional nano material the examples are quantum dots colloids these are the examples now in this case uh, how can we define it three dimensional nano materials so all the three dimensions of the material are in nano scale is called as a three dimensional nano material so examples are quantum dots then colloids these are the examples so in this way we have seen the properties of nano materials and the types of nano materials so particularly these types of nano materials are there now we have to uh, know or we have to study the preparation of nano material we know that nano materials are prepared they are not directly found so we have to how preparation of nano material is there that we will see now